Hey folks, welcome back for more Enshrouded, and I am your pilot speaking, and in this episode, we're gonna go ahead and say hello to everybody. Hello, hello, hi. We're all gonna just vacay in Ember Vale, and oh my god. <sighs> okay, so I have something to confess to all of you, which is I know to no one, but that's okay. That's okay. I don't do YouTube for the views. I do YouTube for me. That's at least that's what I tell myself when nobody watches. I keep snacking things like this. Wait, can I smack this? Oh, I can. I keep smacking things because I am just crazy like that. No, I <laughs> I keep smacking things because I'm in windowed mode and sometimes I have to click in and out of windows and when I different windows and when I do that, I use the interact button which does the attack swipe so that's why you see that sometimes it's not me losing my mind although who could blame you for thinking that all right what am i doing today i don't even know we do what you want to do how about that huh instead of asking me what i should be doing let's ask you what you should be doing so i actually have another confession to make i um, oh yeah, oh, we, uh, I'm sorry. Okay, I found more sparks, and the way to get more sparks is to actually revisit, like, the Flame Shrine, We, we more of, like, the Flame Sanctum. You can revisit these areas and then collect the sparks again. I didn't know that. I thought that, and I think those dots mean means that think that the zone or the area has reset, or the POI has reset, the, the place of interest has reset. So that's how you collect a lot of sparks. I was like, how am I going to collect all these sparks if I collect them from the spark plug? Not if I collect them from the sites and they only give you one of each. No, they actually respawn and you can collect as many sparks as possible. You just have to wait for that yellow dot to let you know that the POI has reset and you can revisit it for funsies. Also, while I was figuring that out. I was also wondering how in the world do I get the matron head? So I can show you this um, for people who may watch this 30 years into the future. The scavenger matron head. <laughs> I'm not spiteful. I love that it's just me talking to myself. Um, but, you know, that's life. And sometimes in life you talk to others and sometimes in life you talk to yourself. And <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, scavenger matron head. Where can I find that? I actually looked it up and I googled it because I am that kind of guy. And I think it's in this area. That's my best geo locate uh, answer is that it's in this zone. I made it here to the farmer vault. Custom marker. Where was it before? Oh, it was Willow Crush. I think it's over here where I can find that enemy. Either way, what I'm going to do next is patrol this area and see if I can find the matron head. Oh yeah, I can actually fast travel to here. Okay, I can do that. And you know what? I might destroy this and place it maybe a little farther inland. Perhaps at the crest of this hill. And the reason, if you're wondering why I'm doing that, is because I'm determined. I am so determined to... Get that marksman armor. All right, let me go ahead and destroy this. Extinguish flame, extinguish the flame. It'll be destroyed in 30 seconds. You know, it's funny, in a Souls game, uh, health regen is like so, so important. Or not important, but like a luxury. Whereas your Estus flask, something that immediately heals your health, is um, pretty common to use. But in this game, it's treated the opposite, where oop, regening your health is what is most common. I wonder if this town, Willow Crush, has replenished the mobs. It seems like they have, damn. Wait, what is it fighting? What the hell, what killed it? What in the world's happening? Oh, bees. Bees are killing it? Oh, I know. I could put the altar right on that hill right here. It looks like a plateau. Well, it looks like the hill plateaus, so... Nice! Okay, we've made it! So, this looks like, this looks like a great place to place um, an altar. Let's go ahead and do that. And now that we have a spot here, let's go ahead and explore this area. What's that red thing down there? 
Huh. Well, we're heading into the shroud. At night, no less. Or in the night, I should say. Oh gosh, it's scary. Wow, we're in shrouded. We're in shrouded. We're on the sh What is that? Oh. Oh, I wonder if these are the things that I have to kill. That, uh... Oh, okay, get away, get away. There we go. I wonder if these things drop the shroud poison or something? Shroud sack. Yeah, we need the shroud sack for something. Can't remember what, but we need it for something. There we go, level eight. We're gonna pump some stuff into, into health, I think. So we have the jumping attack, which I never use. <laughs> But we have Khan here. By 50. We're gonna go here for Khan. Oh wait, hold on. Is this one point? That's two points. We're gonna go here for Khan. And then we're gonna go here for Khan as well. Now that's a lot of HP. So we've essentially gotten back the HP that we lost since we've um, reset our skills. Let's see, there is a place I can grapple up there. Okay. Seems safe up here. Ah, uh, see, those are the mobs. Lone Thistle, level 11. Ooh, it, it went all the way. The cool thing about the wand, again, it takes a lot of, uh, doesn't take a lot of, but the salmon is greatly reduced. Holy shit. Sorry, folks, if I'm, like, ultra quiet. <laughs> that took me by a tremendous surprise, and I was not ready for it. Now, I know we are losing um, time here, but we do have shroud potions to help us out. I know it's kind of cheese, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Because they really outnumber us here, and I need to be cautious. Calm, collected, and cautious. Drink in the potion. Did that give us two minutes? I don't even know. That doesn't seem like it. Man, there is a lot of bad guys here. Okay, we only got one minute. <sighs> we have to head out of here, I think. Four? What? Is this- I don't think the potion's working. I was not- okay. I was not counting on that. <laughs> I was not counting on the potion not actually working. What in the world? Okay, we just gotta run out of here. Are we good? Oh, okay, we're fine. Oh. Oh, I heard something. Okay, what does this item actually do? Contains cleansed shroud liquid, enhancing the resistance of the user. Extends the remaining time in the shroud consumption by two minutes. This effect will last for 45 minutes. Oh, increases the maximum time. So you drink it before you go into the shroud. So if I go in, I should have like eight minutes. Okay, okay. That, I just misread that. I didn't understand <laughs> how any of that worked. Now I do. Man, this, the wands are, can be wildly inaccurate. The cool thing about the wand though is that it can keep you strafing. Whereas the staff you have to charge your attack, you can still move with the wand. Nice. Does a lot of damage. There's a lot of bad guys here. Wow, this guy is tough. Oh! Okay. Oh man, he hits hard. He hits hard. No! No! Oh god! Oh! Oh, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. The thing is, I need to conserve my stam. That's the biggest thing! Oh! Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, he's tough. He is tough. The blink ability? Oh my god, he hits hard. So the blink ability is like really good, but like it doesn't give you the ability to get around him as much as you want. And it takes up a lot of stam to use. I think I have to parry him. There we go. So if I can parry him again, we're gonna be okay. So let's try to parry him here. Come on, come on. There we have it. Let's go for the parry again. Oh, I just gotta keep doing that. That's the only way to break through him. 
Rolling around is not gonna help us. What? Oh, I hit that freaking shield button. Come on now. I think I gotta bait him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you just gotta stare down your opponent. What is this? Sharpened broadsword. A broadsword almost too big to be comfortably swung. It's stronger than my legendary weapon. Is it a one-handed blade? It is a one-handed blade. It's slower. Let's see, what is that? Prayers of a flame scroll. Mana cost. Offers a prayer, a small prayer to the flame that increases your magic damage. Okay, so it's a, a boon. Direct use. Legendary. What does that mean? Great mana potion and wisp of light. So mana, I mean, I am wearing clothing that regens my mana, but I wonder if mana regens naturally too? No, perhaps not. Okay, where am I in all this? I've walked away from whatever that is. Okay, let's go here. Oh, location above, okay. Yeah, let's actually do what we came here to do. <laughs> plants, enemy plants, enemy flowers. We got this, oh God, look, 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 look. Ah. Okay, there they are. Fireball. Oh, come on. See, that's another thing with the staff, is that you're kind of locked into that animation, so it's such a bummer when uh, you have to like do a quick evade. You're normally not quick enough to do it. Oh, I'm out of mana. Okay, now we have to use a wand, maybe? Oh, it's too far away. Oh, it's so pathetic. All right, well, then I'm not going to waste my time. I've got literally on the clock here, so can't just be fighting every single thing that wants to target us. Okay, there's a basement down there. Three minutes. All right, let's just head to where we need to go. Huh. What is all this? Is that the alchemist's, um, thing? trap behind a find a way inside the laboratory okay well there must be a lever so around here somewhere or maybe we can drop down on it oh it is so dark in here oh I drank the freaking <laughs> I can sleep oh, Jesus Huh, here we go. What's all this then? Never enough. Spirit's broken. Uh, my spirit is broken. Can I really blame the people for turning away from my potions in their desperation? Most of my visitors these days are rats and other sad pests so far. I have not proven to be a great partner, lab partner. This must be a, a better way to clear out the shroud to overcome it. Perhaps I should reconsider my efforts. Shroud protection. Whoa! We have shroud protection! How? For 40... Four minutes? What? Enshrouded. But here, we're protected. How are we protected here? What in the world? The alchemist. The alchemist bloody have done it. They found the cure. No, like seriously, how did they do this? You know, I also wonder, it says how it pushes the shroud away, the flame altars. I wonder if you can put a flame altar close to like the shroud or something and like push the fog back heel chain okay and glider i've been fond of birds they weave through the wind so effortlessly to embrace the horizon uh discover whatever you seek free of all corruption beneath the uh spreading beneath such a wondrous journey may have mankind may conquer the skies through invention i shall craft a glider all right let's break through here this has to be where we can drop down right whoa there's a flame altar there. What in the world? And just as we've made it to the top, so does the sun rise. And then I'm assuming we could drop down here for the lab. This was not a good idea. Perhaps uh, such bewildering, unusual implementation for my button causes more issues than anticipated. I thought locking away my laboratory door this way would be useful, but my, my back pain tells me otherwise. Suit bursmishes, my feathers, and my spine aches. This was among my worst ideas. <laughs> okay, so 
There's a button apparently. It's right here. Oh, did Balthazar create all the other switches as well? That'd be a fun lore thing. I, I really do like some of the lore they are developing for this game. I think it's really interesting and I, I, I buy into it. I think it's fun. So when they do have lore, I, I really appreciate it. Archer trousers. The coloring of these pants allows her wear to seamlessly blend into the foliage. Wow, no, I could be like men in tights. <laughs> What is the defense on this? Okay, so mine is 26, 10, and then 23 health. And then we have 27, 27, and it's just defense and magical, but that's fine actually. Green pants, you know, take it with what you will. Okay, now that we've opened the door, and this is where a flame spark is apparently, can we make it over there? Like, I guess we would have to get on top of here. Oh. Oh, I wonder if I could drop down through there. <laughs> Let's grab the spark while we're here from the shrine. Collect. Backpack full. Oh, come on now. Full of what? Now let's collect the flame spark. Oh, we got two of them. Flame shrines. Rather adventurous landing, but I'm quite satisfied otherwise. After all, I found a flame shrine. Ah, uh, the alchemist used the glider to get here. That's cool. I postulate the ancients leave behind a spark after they expire. Their light joins the flame and imbues all knowledge collected throughout their lifespan. At times, however, they rest in these shrines atop cliffs or amidst faraway caves. What whispers of wisdom are they hiding? Also, how does one get down from here? Balthazar. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, I, but I, you know, I will say, and this is just a thing with all games in general, like leaving notes, like, like why would Balthazar leave a notebook here with one page written on this chair? Like, it's, it's a good way, conveniently, as in a video game to tell a story, but it, it really kills your immersion, if I'm being quite honest. And I've always wondered, like, is there, are there other ways to explore a story instead of just leaving journal entries like that behind, you know? And I think that there might be, and I think the most cost-efficient way is by leaving journals, you know, instead of having full-on cutscenes and stuff, but maybe cutscenes aren't the answer either. I don't know. I just, I feel like they're, I, I wish more games would not utilize notebooks and notes so often in their storytelling. Let's go down here. This is what I want to do. Ah, there's treasure here. Cool. And fell, uh, flask of fell. Shroud grants power, not only to the fell, but whoever drinks from the flask. And then we go, oh, there was actually a ladder up there, so we could have gone there without dropping. But now we can go down to the basement and go down to the lab. This door isn't open, why not? But now we get the mortar and pestle. Backpack full, oh my gosh. That's wood, drop, there we go. Collect, got the mortar and pestle, now we've unlocked more stuff. Probably better mage gear maybe? That'd be kinda cool. Yes, we can open it through here. We can open that door, perfect. Oh, there's treasure here. What can we find, copper arrows? Oh, come on, what do I need to drop? What do I need to drop? Let's drop the campfire. <laughs> and get copper arrows. Perfect. Let's make our way over to the queen's tomb. This shroud just looks so intimidating. Even after you know you've cleared the- Oh, there's some enemies there. I was like, even after you know you cleared some of the enemies? Turns out that's not the case. Ooh. Oh, come on. There we go. Come on, come on. Here we go. Merciless attack. Wow. Oh, come on. There we are. All right, moving on. We're gonna save that thing there. Oh, there's another, there's items here? Tis what? Ooh, I guess that just tells me I can excavate. Let's try it. Ooh, what did we hit? What are we hitting? I don't even know, like rock? Search. Ah. Okay, cool. I think I have to go through the house and actually do this jump again. <laughs> I think that's the only way to get out of this part here. Okay, but whatever, we're out. Let's head to the other area, whatever this area is, and call it an episode. I know, I'm trying to do a lot more in an episode now. I said I'd stop like every 40 minutes and going back on that. What the f <laughs> The physics in this game is a little wonky. It's a little wonky, but you know, it is what it is. Wait, oh, I don't think I can actually make it through this area. Maybe I have to go around. Okay, whatever, we're gonna teleport back home. <laughs>
<laughs> it's been 43 minutes and I don't want to lose out on any game footage in case we do crash again. This ancient spire realm, open up new pass result, don't forget about it. Quest completed, perfect. What can we make with this? Wait, what? It says pick up. I know it sounds silly, but a good old kettle over a nice toasty fireplace. Uh, will make this place feel like home. Okay, leave me alone, leave me alone. Wait, he just said good work, friend. Okay. Uh, what does that mean? <laughs> I guess we, oh, okay. So we've unlocked new stuff now. Glow dust from Firefly. Bug dust from Critter Parts. Finally can make use of Critter Parts. Spiritual cane. Is this it? Is this the new stuff? Armor. Ah, here we go. Healer wraps. This is the new stuff. And then we had, we were using the apprentice set, but what about the mage set? Ah, mage gloves. You got claws in there. <laughs> Pretty, pretty, pretty cool. Well, with that, let's go ahead and call it an episode. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. I do appreciate that, and I appreciate you. And I hope to see you in the next episode, whatever the next episode may be. So until then, I will see you then. Bye for now.